So this is obviously not what you guys wanted to hear, but it's pretty clear at this point that the Model Y's specifically built with hardware 4 is not going to be retrofitable to the new additional cameras. Now in my last video, we talked about the new spotting of the Project Highland Model 3 with its additional front bumper cameras and very likely going to have the side cross traffic cameras as well. The purpose and the most important thing about these cameras are that it covers all the blind spots around the vehicle, which is crucial to full self driving as well as the Tesla Vision Park Assist. Now speaking of the Tesla Vision Park Assist, it hasn't had any major updates to it thus far. It means that there is definitely software and hardware limitations to what it's able to actually do. In terms of distance measuring at this point at the front angles, you're not able to get any accurate reading out of it so it's very unreliable and there is a possibility that even with the hardware for high definition cameras, we're still going to get roughly about the same measurements. So yeah, it's pretty difficult to defeat physical limitations and this is why it's very important to add an additional hardware to the front of the vehicle to cover all these blind areas. So now you guys probably know why I'm so adamant about waiting for hardware 4.5. I honestly think the hardware 4.5 lingo started from this channel. So if it does actually come true, go back to this channel and give me a shout out. But yeah, when hardware 4 arrived, I knew that just because they upgraded the definition of the cameras doesn't necessarily mean that they fixed any of the hardware issues. The blind spot is still definitely an issue right up top and unless Tesla comes out with some magical way for the front cameras to see through the hood, there's no possibility of getting accurate readings. And then let's not even get started about the dummy camera. So instead of changing the entire housing, they decided to add a fake camera in the housing unit. This alone should tell you guys clearly that this is not the final design of hardware 4. Anyways, let's get back to the Model Ys with hardware 4 and why the vehicles are going to take most of the grunt here. So clearly, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that hardware 4 on the Model S and X is extremely different than hardware 4 on the Model Y. Tesla has opted to go the cheaper route and they decided to use a different vendor for the hardware 4 FSD board on the Model Y and that is clearly a wrong way to do it. Now they got to configure and manage three different software for three different hardware because we have the Model S and X, we have the Model Y with the downgraded board and then upcoming we have the hardware 4.5 which is going on Project Highland and Juniper. Now if you guys have no clue what I'm talking about and you own a Model Y with hardware 4, go check the those videos out, I'll drop it in the description below and a link up top there. But it practically tells you that a lot of the components and ports on the Model Y has been stripped out and left only with the most important parts. Now, although the previous teardown did give us some kind of info with the new vendor and the board, it didn't give us clarity on what exactly was confirmed to be removed and gone. This is because the owner of that vehicle who picked up his new Model Y happily lended out the vehicle and the board to take a look at, but obviously they wouldn't want their full device to be torn down so we didn't get the full spectrum of what it was like on the inside. But this time it's completely different. Green the only was able to get his hands on a Model Y with hardware 4 and he was able to give us some really deep knowledge of what's going on inside of the board right now versus what's coming up in the future. So here we go. He has been able to confirm that the board is completely different than the Model S and X and there are quite a bit of things that are not going to allow a future retrofit. First and foremost, the harnesses are different than the Model S and X and there are a bunch of new things being depopulated on this board compared to the previous versions. The ethernet port is now completely missing and I'm sure this is used for debugging or some other purpose. But the most critical thing here is going to be the connectors for the future iterations of the cameras. What this means is that the Model Ys with hardware 4 right now and 7 cameras on the exterior are going to stay being 7 cameras only and there is no possibility of a future upgrade. This is completely different than the Model S and X board where there are additional extra ports and even more extra ports in case anything else comes up in the future. Now even to top things up, he has even discovered that the connector and the port for the Phoenix radar is definitely gone now. So there is no possibility of a future radar retrofit for hardware for vehicles. Now a few good discoveries here is that there is an adapter that allows the Model Y with hardware 4 to plug and play directly into the firewall 
of even the hardware 3 vehicles. For whatever that's worth, at least we know that the hardware 4 is going to be backwards compatible if there was a full board and harness retrofit in the future. This means that physically it is possible to retrofit even a hardware 3 vehicle to the future hardware 4 and 4.5. And then one additional thing is that now the hoses and port connectors are using a different disconnect device, meaning that it's a lot easier to take it apart compared to prior devices. So yeah, all of this is very unfortunate and it's a very big bummer that we are not going to be able to upgrade to the future additional cameras nor the radar system, which is very important for Tesla Vision Park Assist and the FSD beta builds. Now, I don't want to sugarcoat anything and if you guys own a Model Y with hardware 4, you're going to be affected when the new vehicles do come out. The only real possibility is the high definition cameras are going to be optimized to the very point that it gets a better and accurate measurements and readings. However, it's never going to perform as well as having physical hardware being there. One other big thing that you guys might miss out on is the 360 bird's eye view. I've talked about this in my last video as well, how the entire car no longer has any blind spots and the camera are perfectly placed to see all around the vehicle. So all Tesla needs to do is just stitch them together and get this perfect high definition bird's eye view. Now with the current setup and hardware 4, you're not going to be able to get this. So you'll have to just rely on the proximity and distance measurements. Now, if you own a Model S and X, there is a high probability that there is going to be a retrofit for you because the FSD board is capable of adding extra wiring harnesses as well as already having the Phoenix radar in place. So anyways, it is very sad news, but I will continue to monitor this and hopefully Tesla does come out with a future software update that fixes all this or at least comes out with some kind of indication that it will be fixed in the future. But I will continue to follow everything, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and follow me on Twitter if you guys didn't already do so. This should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.